you know, as history dictates over the last three recessions, manufacturing and industrial companies tend to cut the marketing budgets early on, which shows just how much they don't understand the value of marketing and advertising when the economy gets soft. So it's very understandable, and it's a knee-jerk reaction uh, fueled by the pressure to maintain or grow sales and not just have to lay off people. So at a time when customers are cutting back uh, you know, and delaying orders until sales pick up on their end, it makes sense on a human level that when managers have to decide you know, between letting employees go because of the economy or losing soft costs in marketing instead. So it's a very tough decision, and, and you know, in many cases, probably a correct decision in the short run. But in the longer view, it can work against the company by alienating your target audiences as to who you are and what you do. So it's always been an easy target to cut marketing budgets because, quite honestly, many companies just don't grasp the importance of marketing as a critical tool in helping them communicate with their you know, varied audiences, especially when budget cuts are necessary in a tight market like we, we have right now. So in my experience, we try and counsel our clients to strike a balance between the two so that when the economy turns around, they're better positioned to gain sales against, you know, those competitors who go dark in the media. And by doing so, they're able to actually rehire or even add new hires to the workforce. <clears throat> so today, there's a much better understanding of strategic marketing, especially with the growth of various search engines. And you couple that with the fact that most people use the Internet to either start the understanding of a buying process or to uh, look for more information on a product or service. So. You know, there's an old adage, Frankie, it's proven over time, it rings true today, awareness leads to preference and preference leads to sales. And it all starts, obviously, with awareness. So how companies generate that awareness and maintain a presence is the key to me, especially now with this recession mode environment like we have today. So senior leadership has got to view it with a an eye toward, well, I don't want to fire a guy with a family of four because we have to cut back. So I'm going to cut the budgets is going to help us to communicate to our target audiences how we do things. There's got to be a balance, especially in times like this, as opposed to one versus the other.